I think that's something we're all learning, facing what used to be or is our vice. I think a break from YouTube is really good. Hey guys, I'm back. You probably are wondering where I've been on YouTube the past few weeks since I normally do post every week. And if this is your first time on my channel, then you are not wondering that whatsoever. And hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Mara. And I feel like a little bit not myself. Um, we've all been going through quarantine and this pandemic and everyone's handling it a little bit differently. And for me, I think it's kept me away from YouTube weirdly um i've been watching a lot more youtube but i've been not wanting to post and haven't been as motivated but i thought i would do a little quick life quarantine update for you guys just so we can talk and chat and hang out for a sec i'm wearing a really pretty dress right now though um i don't wear makeup every day i actually don't ever wear makeup but i try to put a little bit of makeup on on fridays to kind of spice things up and make things a little more fun but I do wanna talk a little bit about the jewelry that I'm wearing today. For those of you who don't know, I am, actually today I am 22 weeks pregnant and it's very, very, very exciting. More than halfway there and honestly, my pregnancy has gone by so fast and it's been so beautiful and fun that, I don't know, I really don't have anything to complain about besides like the rib pain that I'm experiencing as of yesterday. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about something fun. The jewelry I'm wearing is by Ana Luisa and i absolutely love the brand you guys so they sent me a few pieces to show you guys and to talk a little bit more about the brand and they have beautiful beautiful dainty pieces in sterling silver they've got some solid gold pieces and the earrings that i'm wearing here are these really cute little huggy hoops with a little sun and there's a little like gem in the middle i'm obsessed with these and then you can also pair them with another pair of hoops i actually put this on my second hole because i just think it looks really cute that way and the next piece is this really really beautiful ring i think this is called the soul ring this ring is so, so pretty. You can wear it as a stacking ring on your middle finger. Once I got this in the mail, I put it next to my wedding band and wedding ring and I loved the way it looked. Like I have never found a ring that I could stack with my wedding set that I liked. Like I asked them to send me the size down so that it would fit my ring finger. That's what it looks like. Oh, and I also added that little cove ring, but um, this is what the ring looks like on its own. And it's still beautiful if you obviously want to wear it just your ring finger alone. When I talk about this brand, I really seriously love this brand because they care a lot about using recycled metals and the quality of their jewelry. They also have really great customer service. I'll have a link down below. They're having a special running for Mother's Day. The last piece I wanna show you is my favorite, favorite piece of all and it's the necklace that I'm wearing. It's the Daniela necklace, but it says mama. Literally the cutest piece of jewelry I've ever owned, of course, besides my wedding set. I don't even wear necklaces that often, but I wear this literally every day. Also, I wear it in the shower. I don't take it off because putting on and taking off necklaces can be a pain for me. So I need something that's really good quality that's not going to tarnish or rust or anything. And this is great. Now that I've shown you those jewelry pieces that I've been rocking the last several weeks, now we can go into the update. I'm not gonna lie, this quarantine has kept me from posting. And I don't really know why. You'd think that it would make me wanna post more and more since I would have more time on my hands. My clay business is going really well and I've been focusing a lot of my efforts on the business and um, putting my heart and soul into the design and the creative process. It can be hard for me at times to balance things out. Like, I my like my initial work schedule was um, maybe like 65% Maricotta clay and then 35% YouTube. I really have not been putting the time that I um, could be in the uh, last few weeks but I do have a lot of different products and like amazing brands that I wanna share with you guys that I have came into contact with or have been shared their products, baby related and just, you know, life related, some plant related. And the month of April is really special because last year in April is when I first started my YouTube channel and I believe my first YouTube video was uploaded April 24th and it was my plant collection video. I have way less plants now, but I can do an updated video if you would like to see that. I also have a home tour video that I really have been wanting to film, but we've been waiting on a really big piece of furniture for the past 
couple of weeks now. So hopefully once I get that delivered, we can film that video and I'll have it uploaded soon. What else, guys? I guess I just wanted you guys to know how I'm doing during quarantine and I would like to know how you guys are doing as well and how you're able to handle being at home way more than you're probably used to. Personally, I've really enjoyed the time at home. It's been really sacred to me and I absolutely love being home. I'm such a homebody that it's just kind of natural to me. I definitely have been cooking more. Uh, recently started baking a little bit more. Yeah, I don't bake that often because that usually ends up with me being impatient, trying to speed up the process, like speed up the recipe, and then yeah, I end up eating all of it and then I regret it. So like that's never really a good thing for me. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of online shopping, which is good and bad. You know, I've been able to support small businesses and large businesses, but I also have been um, using that kind of as my crutch to like heal my boredom, which I think that's something we're all learning is facing what used to be or is our vice and deciding whether or not we're gonna turn to that or if we're gonna turn to what actually fulfills us. It's been really wonderful to see me and Alex's relationship um, grow in a new place because uh, while community and church and just being around other people has been really healthy for us, we haven't been able to do that as much in this time, so we've had to figure out how to go about that. I think we're learning what the core of a healthy, beautiful, prospering relationship looks like when resources are limited. It's been really, uh, really a sweet time, I think, for me. I've had a lot of time to spend with the Lord, and have I used that time to spend with Him? Not perfectly, no, not at all. I have had a lot of time to spend with baby cove sitting and just resting and feeling her movements is literally the most amazing experience so i'm really grateful for the season that i'm in with the pandemic going on i don't feel super you know anxious about it i mean i think as the days go on and the more that i expose myself to the news and the updates of increasing numbers and you know new cases like i you know start to feel a little bit angsty like i don't really it makes me more reluctant to go out to the grocery store or to pick up something from the store if i need it to cook and i can definitely get in my head about it but i think for the most part i've been staying away from that and trying to entertain myself in other ways and then being in prayer daily is really important and really helpful to me to just keep my peace and just to keep calm in this situation also haven't been able to get my eyelashes done in, in uh, i guess more a little bit over a month now maybe which isn't so bad you know at first i think part of that is the reason why i didn't want to be in front of a camera and like filming because i didn't really have everything put together but then i realized that shouldn't be an issue and then also i just need to be consistent i think a break from youtube is really good and i think i was due one because i was really good at keeping this schedule of posting weekly but i didn't want to just put out content that i wasn't really sure or like passionate or like ready to share if that makes sense and i just want to be more organic with the way that i share life with you guys it's not about the numbers it's not about really like growing to a certain spot and whatever for me i, I want to be able to look back at these videos when i'm older and just reminisce and remember that time in my life even now just looking back at a year ago when i was engaged and planning for my wedding and being newlywed like literally those seasons of my life were so fun and exciting if you guys like these updates of my life then you should follow me on instagram because i update almost like every few days and i just like to post a bunch of fun things on my story and baby updates and that kind of stuff so if you are interested in that go ahead and follow me on my instagram and i think i'm going to close out this video but yeah i hope that you can continue to follow me in this journey of figuring out what it means to be i don't know um i guess now a new mom um a business owner a dog mom a wife i almost forgot that one <laughs> i don't know 
if you want to check out Ana Luis's really beautiful jewelry pieces, there's a link down below that you can click on. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment down below and I can answer that for you guys. I love you. More videos coming soon. Okay, here's me closing out. I appreciate you guys so much and love you. Bye.